The Zego DeltaBot on Indiegogo is less of a 3D printer and more of a transformer. With interchangeable tool heads, the data style robot goes from 3D printer to 2D plotter to pick and place machine easily and affordably. Zego can be outfitted with a number of different tool heads to expand its capabilities. Aside from standard hot end for extruding filament for FDM FFF 3D printing, the bot's creators have designed a plotter, wood burner, CNC mill, and pick and place attachment. The plotter, a fancy name for a pen, will allow users to draw digital drawings in real space. But the wood burner lets them make those drawings more permanent by burning them into various materials. The CNC PCB mills is for making engravings, while the entry-level pick-and-place attachment can either act as a fourth axis for holding a part while it is being engraved or to move objects from one place to another. All combined Zego makes for a many-in-one in-house prototyping machine. Not only can you 3D print an object, but you can engrave it burn it and draw on it as well. The CNC mill in conjunction with the 4th Axis pick and place attachment gives users the ability to design electronics as well. Other hybrid machines such as Microfactory and Fabtotum have been launched in the past, offering the ability to 3D print, scan and mill. The Zego, however, has the greatest range of abilities that we have seen so far. Hi, my name is Daniel and we are people behind the Zego Robotics. When Zigo was founded eight months ago, the idea of building multifunctional linear delta robot was an exciting endeavor. Hi, I'm Richard. We are all members of Tech Shop Pittsburgh and are extremely excited to bring this multifunctional robot to Kickstarter. Hi, my name's Andy. The machine has been through many revisions and much beta testing. We are happy and confident with the latest build and very excited to get it to you. The Zigobot is based on Delta Kinematics. Unlike some Delta bots, which are only 3D printers, the Zegobot offers a variety of attachments to expand the functionality of this versatile tool. By us being members of TechShop, we have access to advanced fabrication tools that have greatly contributed to our construction efforts. For example, the Trotec Speedy 300, a 120-watt laser with CO2 resonator tube, a powerful engraver and cutting machine. The Flowjet Mach 2, an industrial water jet tool capable of precise metal cutting using a 65,000 pound per square inch mixture of water and abrasive substance, and a Tormach 1100 CNC milling machine with a 2800 watt peak spindle drive. With these professional tools, we are able to produce a machine of high precision and durable metal construction. The Zego robot uses magnetic joint attachments, which not only lets us more easily switch different end effectors, but also reduces the hazard of any equipment damage due to operator errors. Right now we have five different attachments and applications developed for the Zego bot. One of the attachments that you can see right now is the plotter, which can draw with a pin or an LCD sketch pad, as seen here. Another attachment is a wood burner, and yet another would be an engraver or PCB mill. The PCB mill is useful because it plays a part in the prototyping for electronics. Furthermore, we have an entry-level pick-and-place machine, and these two things together, the PCB mill and the pick-and-place machine, allows you to do electronic prototyping in-house. Using these two attachments together would allow you to cut turnaround time tremendously when prototyping electronics compared to sending this order away to a fabricator. Instead, you could do it all here with one robot in just a few hours' time compared to a few days or even weeks going through a shop. One of the most interesting applications for the Zegobot is the 3D printer attachment. The 3D printer is based on FFF technology, fused filament fabrication. It uses a filament driver that pushes the filament to the extruder which has a hot end, which is about 185 degrees Celsius for PLA, and extrudes through a 400 micron orifice. The printer extrudes plastic in small quantities, layer by layer, until your physical object is fabricated. So, why crowdfunding? We would not be able to build the community we wish to form around Zego Robot by working alone. We need your help. The goal of our campaign is to foster a community around this open source fabrication tool. But the biggest value of Zego Bot are the educational workshops. With our Zego Classic Assembly Kit tier, we also provide free workshops for our fellow tech shop members nationwide. Each workshop is divided into four sections, lasting two hours each. 
The first section covers mechanical assembly. The second is an introduction to Arduino and the configuration of firmware. The third part provides an introduction to G-Code and an introduction to the software toolchain used to operate the Zego. The fourth part covers the calibration of the machine, assembly of the 3D printer attachment, and the software toolchain for 3D printing. These workshops bring the open source hardware technology to a new level of accessibility, enabling makers to maximize the usage and understanding of this technology. The Zego was based on the open source Rostock design and co-developed with Billy Zelsnack. We believe in you, the makers, innovators, and early adopters. Thank you. Three D printing industry news TV brought to you by Three D Systems.